today, just a uh, bit of info about fish food uh, in the aquaponic systems. Um, home kind of backyard hobby use. You can buy aquapack in four kilo buckets, massive amounts of size. You know, you can choose from about 10 different size pellets, 1.5 mil, 1 mil, 5 mil, whatever, depending on your fish size. Uh, this is a typical kind of fingling size, so 1.5 mil pellets, pretty small, you know, the little tiny fingerlings can eat them. And you can see what's in it, protein, fat, fibre, ash, phosphorus, made out of fish meal, fish oil, squid meal, krill, plant protein, vitamins and minerals. Now, this product's made by a company called Big Nutrition. The funny thing is I buy it from livefish.com.au. Uh, livefish.com.au they sell it for 45 bucks for four kilos uh, so it'll last you a fair while um, but big nutrition the actual supplier of this they sell it for 25 bucks so you'll save 20 bucks but watch out for postage the postage from big nutrition if you just want to buy one tub to pretty much anywhere in australia was 50 bucks when livefish.com.au pretty cheap i think the postage was 18 dollars something like that so it was actually cheaper to go through one of their resellers or distributors than go through them directly, which is, you know, it's typical. They're trying to protect the market, trying to protect, you know, their resellers or whatever by offering pretty shit shipping. All right, so inside, there's fish foods and other things going on. That's a bit of a mix of 2 mil and 1.5 mil pellets. So down lower. That's what 1.5 mil is, so it's pretty small, and uh, that's probably about three kilos in the bucket, something like that. So it'll last a fair while. It's um, like anything, keep it sealed, and uh, this stuff's basically made to be pretty safe. So you know, it's um, nothing too scary in it. If you're breathing, breathed in a bit, or ate some yourself, or whatever, if you find it tasty and you wanted some, it's not really going to hurt you. When uh, some of the commercial stuff. You've got to handle it a bit with a bit more care from all the dust and things that come off it. So yeah, four kilos is the way to go. Obviously, you're going to use it. Um, bigger fish will eat small food. Obviously, small fish don't eat big pieces of food. So for fingerlings, you know, one and a half, one to one and a half mil, uh, up to two mil, uh, depending on, you know, what you're doing, what you feel's right. And, uh, you know, it's a bit of an all-around fish food. Uh, this, the tank's here mainly full of silver perch. So it's, it's good for silver perch, you know, all the perches, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, the trout tank I haven't, haven't uh, tried it on yet, so we'll see how they go. They've got their own kind of mix at the moment. But uh, silver perch are pretty easy because you can pull out a lettuce, say. Uh, it's only a little baby one, but pull out a growing lettuce, or even a baby if you've got too many, and throw that in the tank as well. The silver perch will munch away. When they have their pellet, they'll go crazy. They're like little piranhas. Uh, and when uh, you throw a lettuce in, they seem to kind of, you know, feed on it at night a little bit, uh, get a bit of that sort of stuff in their gut. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, easy stuff, pretty cheap food, and, uh, yeah, where I get it from is livefish.com.au. Uh, not, I've got nothing to do with them, I'm not affiliated with them at all, but uh, they've got some pretty good deals on fish as well. Um, I'm a little bit off the beaten track, and delivery for fish is, you know, about two days here, which is getting a little bit sketchy. You might lose one or two, but most places apparently it's in, in you know the next day from when they bag them, put a bit of oxygen in their bag, they send them, you'll get them. So the food itself, so you can get it for 18 bucks delivered. Um, well, not 18 bucks delivered, but 45 plus the 18. I think it was 18, 17, 18, 16 bucks, something around that for the delivery. They use a backhaul company. So this this took about oh, a week and a half to get because they obviously to ship it at that price, um, they use backhaulers, so they take a little bit longer. So. Yeah, that's the fish food I use. Um, I could go over in a second and uh, show you what the fish think about it. Over at one of the fingling tanks, this has just got silver perch, little babies in it. Um, they, Some of their mates were taken out and transported to another tank yesterday. So putting nets in and stuff seems to really scare them and stirs them up a bit. So they can get a bit sooky off their food um, and a bit annoyed at you. So. Their mates in the, in the uh, new system aren't liking their food at the moment. They're a bit sooky. And these guys are still a bit wary after me manhandling them so much yesterday. So they seem to you know, not want to come up to the surface and eat. Uh, this fish food's floating. You can get sinking or floating. Um, so this is only a little fingling tank. So there's a much bigger tank next to it. And uh, 
for that big tank I'll use sinking because uh, the fish tend to hang right down the bottom and they get a bit scared of coming up to the top especially if you're climbing up and down and banging on the tank so anyway I'll throw a bit of food in we'll see if they're hungry they've actually had a feed today so this is kind of too much food for them really but it's more for the case so you can see if they go crazy or not for it and here they come I don't know if you can see them all but you'll see the water movement of anything Yeah, so they're pretty happy. They'll, they'll eat it up yum yum. They seem to like you know that, that fish food. It's um you know making them grow pretty fast and healthy. The only problem with the fish food is if it gets stuck in crevices in your tank or you know that kind of thing, uh, it gets gets really mucky. Like I'll, I'll do an experiment and show you what I'm talking about. It turns into what looks like almost a, like a jellyfish. It turns into very much this you know see through goo um, and it's all from the food the first time it happened I wasn't sure what I was looking at I thought some sort of bacteria was getting in the tank and going to kill everything because the fish went off their food um, but in the end I found it wasn't it wasn't any bacteria or anything and you know alien or unnatural it was just the fact that uh, the food that they weren't getting uh, or eating up that day would you know, congeal and uh, go pretty off enough to put them off their food so um, you know, you kind of be careful not to overfeed your fish. Uh, it'll upset your whole system, but also it can cause you know pretty big dramas. So, you know, just making sure you've got enough filtration to get rid of excess food, and uh, you should be right. As you can see, there's still a few bits on the top they haven't got yet. So, a bit of overfeeding just for the display purposes. But this morning, they were like piranhas. The first feed they got, uh, they went off their you know off their heads over it. They're still coming up occasionally, they probably don't like that I'm here, I don't, they don't like me very much at the moment, but you know, expect that. So yeah, just a bit of information on fish food and where I get it from, just for small quantities. Larger quantities, obviously, you know, if you're buying 60 kilo bags and that kind of thing, uh, the main suppliers might be the best to deal with, so there you go.